People don't like having large trucks delivering onto the high street, the problems with emissions and cyclists and road safety. So we need to do something about that, but the goods need to be delivered. So what we're going to do today as part of our seminar on innovation is look at a new model of urban logistics, and that will be using electric trains and electric trucks. The benefit of this is electric trucks have a fairly limited range. They can only go about 100 miles before they need recharge. So they're confined to the, the city centre. The electric train can bring the goods from the distribution centre in the Midlands to the edge of the city, transfer the container without touching the goods onto the truck for final delivery into the high street. So we have a smaller truck, purpose-built for the city, but the benefit of an electric train bringing the goods to the edge of the city centre and reverse logistics of packaging and roll cage and things go back to the distribution centre in the same container on the train. In the logistics and transport profession we're doing huge amounts these days to now attract talent into the industry. We're working with government to inform their policies but most importantly we're working with the education sector raising awareness amongst young people of the very many exciting opportunities that exist for them if they enter the world of logistics and transport. And then finally we're working with employers who can showcase to young people the exciting opportunities that are available within their organisations. Brexit brings a number of opportunities to the industry and it enables us to jump forward and become much more an e-trading nation than we have been before. So we need to make sure that we get as many people, both companies and freight forwarders, through AEO, CNS, which we are lagging behind, but this is the opportunity now to really spearhead this movement and bring forward electronic trading as a way of means for doing sea shipping. It's in the airline industry, 53% of air bills are now e-bills, we need to do the same in the sea industry. Well, membership of a professional body like CILT is all about knowledge, network and know-how and the ability to drive success for individuals and also for the corporate entities that they work for and ultimately for society and the economy as a whole. We deliver the knowledge uh, through our professional education, through our training. Uh, we deliver the networks through our forums, through our national events. Uh, bringing together people sharing best uh, practice, common interests um, and what we're looking to do, we, we sit across multiple sectors, is share good practice across those, so taking things that are good in rail, bus and coach and taking in th those into ports, maritime waterways, into supply chain and into logistics.